burning to the oil depot. Blimey, she's quick. No, she's getting <laughs> to, the, <laughs> to the oil depot. It's off scene, don't worry about it. She doesn't really need refreshment. But the fact of the matter is that things have gotten congested in her yards. Toby would call it chaotic, and Percy a blankety blank blank mess. As both Percy and Toby are due to meet their job, Mavis prefers not to be among those present. Percy arrives at 12.22 with a rake of empties from the hard I think the silly trucks are holding back again. Uh, I think I think the spiteful brake man needs to have an Donald needs to have another word with him. <laughs> disappoints Mavis. An incurable optimist, she always hoped that someone would do her work for her and tidy her yard. But Percy, though green, is not as green as that. Besides, he has his own work to do. He has to collect two of the vans he left this morning and take them down on his next train. First he collects the brake van and the cattle. draws back to the crossover. I think those troublesome trucks are at it again. Oh, it's the magnets. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to take credit for this. Is that uh, this is the Reverend Wilbert Audrey's. Yeah, he did it. Oh, right. This is yeah. yeah, as much as I would like to go. Yes, yes, this is great. I'm all right. I'm doing the concert. It's brilliant. Yeah. It is lovely. Design yeah. to hide a few yeah. yards because behind here is meant to be the loco sheds and a line to the quarry tramway. Yeah. So it, it, you see that in the books where you've got the sheds just behind the station. Sure. And then there's the, the tramway which tram goes right off to the quarry. And of course you've got the station master's house behind the sheds. I don't think there's a single one of us as mother railway enthusiasts yeah. that didn't watch Thomas. I uh, uh, think we've all done sooner. Yeah. All read the books. Absolutely, yeah. But yeah, these are all his original models. Yeah. Uh, Percy was built in 1949. Well, we're the Telefilm Railway. Yeah, and uh, Audrey and was a member of the society. Samuel! <laughs> that echoed far too much, I'm sorry. Um, but yes, um, 
Yeah. No, I saw Doctor Who scarf. I was like, is that Samuel? Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> you're instantly recognisable, my friend. Um, yeah. So he was a volunteer with us in the fifties. If you ever see the Scarlowe characters and stuff, they were based off the telephone. Yeah, they were based on our. Yeah. So when he sadly passed away, it was bequeathed to us. Yeah. And it usually lives behind glass in our museum, but we can get it out to play sometimes. And that's what you did today. Oh, absolutely. I think I. No, I, I would like to think he'd be happy that it out doing what he did with it. He, I think he'd be happy knowing that he's doing a lot of good work for the town of Glen. Yes. Which it's a, not, it's it's a nice, little, uh, nice little advertisement. Yeah. Well, we, we've, we've, been given, we've been given we've been given out leaflets. Does anyone like a leaflet? Yeah. Would you, would you like to I think I got one, yeah. Please, if you've got any left. Why would you tell me that I can give things out? Because I'd forgotten. You're saying that that's the spiteful break, Van. If he's still causing trouble, this I was going to say. If he is causing trouble, I think Donald will have to have another word with him. In the country, um, it's now a gauge. 